It looks like Blizzard is back at it, developing a StarCraft first person shooter, and this time, no, it is not a rumor. We've got a solid source confirming this exciting news, so stay tuned as they break down everything we know so far about this ambitious project from the team lead to its development status. You won't want to miss a single detail of what could be one of Blizzard's biggest games yet. So let's dive in and explore what is happening in the StarCraft universe. So it looks like Blizzard is trying their best to get into the first person shooter market with their franchise StarCraft. And this is going to be the, I believe, third attempt at trying to make this game or this universe into a shooter. You know, back in 2014, we had the canceled StarCraft Ghost, which I was really upset about. That was probably my most anticipated game back in the day. But when you look at some of the footage from that game, it's really no doubt why they canceled it because yeah, it was, it was pretty rough around the edges. But after that game was canceled, I still held out hope that we would still see another kind of first person shooter type game from StarCraft. And unfortunately, about five years ago, Blizzard was again trying to revitalize the FPS genre in StarCraft, and they were actually working on a Battlefield type StarCraft game, but unfortunately that game was cancelled as well, and they basically shifted those resources over to Diablo and Overwatch. For some of you that remember, this was back before Overwatch 2 came out and Diablo 4, and during that time that was kind of when, um, you know, it wasn't looking very good for either of those franchises, so Blizzard was kind of like freaking out and you know just trying to put more and more stuff into those games and hopefully just get them out the door with as much polish as they possibly could and unfortunately the only way to do that was to cancel this Starcraft game which by the way they had already had two years of development into it. And I think the most frustrating thing about this for me personally is the fact that Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4 kind of released in you know the state that they're in now right if you guys have played those games you know exactly what I'm talking about and I think that them canceling the StarCraft game was definitely a mistake. But hopefully it looks like Blizzard has finally learned their lesson and they're trying to give StarCraft the love that that franchise definitely needs and deserves. So the news being reported from this new StarCraft FPS is all via Jason Schreier when he talked about it on IGN's Unlocked podcast. For those of you who don't know, Jason Schreier is a gaming journalist and whether you love him or hate him, he always seems to have good information, so whenever he says something, it's worth listening to. Blizzard hired Dan Hay, who's a guy I've met uh, several times at at Far Cry events, because he was always the, the public face, the, the producer, for the last two or three Far Cry games. And so he was brought in to Blizzard. And uh, let's see, most of the developers were laid off, while a few would remain with Hay to begin incubating, of all things, a new StarCraft shooter. Yeah, um, yes, that is a project that, as far as I know, is in development, or at least as of the, the time that I wrote this book, was in development, which is, yes, they are working on a StarCraft shooter. StarCraft is not dead at Blizzard. And he goes on about the project, and one really interesting thing that he mentions here is that Dan Hay, who is famously known for working on the Far Cry franchise, is apparently now working with Blizzard on this new StarCraft project. And I think the news for this new StarCraft game coming out and rumors starting to float, this is kind of the best time for it to happen, right? We just had, you know, Helldivers 2, like it or love it. That game exploded with popularity for a while, and I know right now the player base has dropped a lot because of, you know, some of the questionable things that the developers are doing with that game. And yes, they're trying to win back fans with, you know, unnerfing things, right? But not to make this video be all about Helldivers 2, but I think the main reason why most of the player base left that game was just because the people running the show really just kept nerfing things and making the game less fun. That combined with the fact that I think people got bored of the game or the gameplay loop pretty quick and you know the developers didn't really put out new things to do too quick is just you know the combination of why that game is kind of in the state of where it's at now. And then of course you've got the flavor of the month right now, Space Marine 2. And coming from someone that put a lot of time into that game and still plays it today, it's a lot of fun. And I remember just as I'm playing that game, I just couldn't help to think to myself like, man, how cool would it be if they made a StarCraft shooter like this where you're running around as a space brain, just mowing down waves of Zerg. And fun fact for you younger generations out there, StarCraft is just basically the production of Blizzard copying the homework of Warhammer 40k, but that doesn't matter because StarCraft is amazing. Now unfortunately, we just don't know what kind of game this is going to be. 
All we know is that it's going to be a shooter. So we don't know if this is going to be a first person shooter, third person, what have you. If I was to take a guess, I would imagine it's probably gonna be looking and playing pretty similar to what Space Marine 2 is going to be. So, you know, that third person over the shoulder type of gameplay. And again, it's just really hard to speculate on this because we literally have nothing to go off of. But I gotta say, if I was to take a educated guess, my bets on them trying to go back to what they started a couple years earlier and try to make a StarCraft Battlefield type game. I think that would probably be the best approach for this type of game, just because when it comes to, you know, the quote unquote Battlefield style games, we're kind of lacking in this department, right? You know, Battlefield has not been a very good franchise in a long time, and I know that they're working on a new one right now, so things can change, but I do think there is a massive void in that Battlefield style game that a lot of people are just craving. Now, before we get into what I would love to see from this game, I just wanna ask you guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, please let me know by subscribing to my channel and leaving a like on this video. This channel is all about World of Warcraft and a bunch of other games because I see myself as a variety type of gamer. However, World of Warcraft is my first love and that will never change. So if you're someone like me that just likes to play a bunch of different games, chances are there's a video on my channel that you will enjoy. So I have a massive laundry list of things that I would love to see in a StarCraft style FPS. And unfortunately, we just do not have enough time in this video. So I think I'll probably save that for another day where I just kind of really just deep dive into a bunch of things that I would love to see. But for this video, I'll just stick to some general ideas of what I think would make this game super awesome. So the first idea that I would like to see for this game in which I think they might be kind of leaning towards is more of a battlefield style game. That's, you know, where you have two teams fighting against each other, 64 players on a map, you know, you've got, you know, a bunch of objectives to capture and hold. You've got people running around on the ground, multiple classes to play as, vehicles, equipment, all that fun stuff. And this idea definitely works for if both teams are playing as like the same faction, so Terran v Terran. However, I do think it would be really cool if they kind of took a step back and made it so that, you know, one team could play as Terran and another team could play as like the Zerg. So it'd be more of like a, I don't know, like a natural selection style game. This next idea I think would be really cool is if they literally just go back and try to remake or recreate StarCraft Ghost. Because yeah, I just love the concept and idea of that game where you had like, you know, like a StarCraft themed Splinter Cell type game where you're playing as Nova. That would be insanely fun. And then the last idea that I have that I'd love to see for a StarCraft type game is probably the most ambitious and, you know, probably the most unlikely. And that would be if, I don't know if you guys have ever played the game called Planetside 2, but the idea behind that game is you've got three factions. It's all kind of like a massively multiplayer FPS game where you've got, I believe it's up to 500 people in an area, all fighting for different objectives and, you know, trying to just control the map, right? I think that would actually work out really well for a StarCraft type game where you've got a giant map, hundreds of players, and you've got all three factions. So you'd have Terran, Zerg, and Protoss, and players could, you know, join whichever faction they wanted to. And you're just, you know, each faction's battling against each other for the resources. Or who knows, maybe they're just gonna make a game like Space Marines 2. Either way, I think at the end of the day, a StarCraft game is a win in my book. So anyways, those are my thoughts. And let me know in the comments section what type of StarCraft game you guys would like to see. Thanks again for watching. I'm still Solo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.